it's like a holy grail time lapse is a time lapse sequence where you go from night to day or from day to night it's called holy grail because it used to be the holy grail of time lapse because it's quite difficult to account for the changing of exposure while the light changes now after watching this tutorial you will see it's really not that difficult anymore first up i will show you how to capture a holy grail sequence and then secondly we're going to color grade d flicker and export that time lapse sequence using DaVinci Resolve Studio. Let's go. First of all, you want to make sure you're shooting raw files and make sure your camera is set to manual mode. Dial in your exposure, make sure your frame is focused and your setup is sturdy and make sure your white balance is fixed as well. Set an interval around six seconds or more seconds, depending on how long you're going to be shooting. You don't want to end up with thousands of frames. That being said, it is often better to have more frames than not enough frames. Start shooting the shot and keep an eye out on your light meter or your histogram if you have image review turned on, which I don't always recommend because it just drains the battery. As the sun sets and the light is changing, I let my exposure slowly drop down from zero EV to about minus one EV because nighttime shots exposed at zero EV are often just too bright and they'll blow out the highlights in buildings. This is a personal preference, but just a little tip from me to you. When the exposure goes lower than minus one EV, I add a third of a stop by carefully adjusting my shutter speed. I adjust my shutter speed before my ISO because higher ISO means more noise and less dynamic range. Keep an eye on your light meter or your histogram as the shot is running and keep adjusting the exposure in between photos until the light stops changing. I don't have to tell you this, I think, but just in case, be very careful when adjusting your exposure. You don't want to shake your frame. Once you're finished shooting, your sequence straight out of camera will look like this. Obviously those flickers are induced from you changing your exposure and that is going to be the next part of this video. How are we going to color grade and de-flicker this holy grail sequence using DaVinci Resolve Studio? But first we need to convert the raw photo sequence into a DNG sequence using a free app called Adobe DNG Converter linked down below. Start by selecting your sequence of raw photos, which is here as you can see. And then you also want to select the output folder. If you hit convert now, it'll start converting depending on your system and the amount of photos. This can take quite a while. Once that is finished, you want to grab that folder containing the sequence and you want to drag that into DaVinci Resolve. It will recognize that as an image sequence. As you can see, that is that sequence. Now you're gonna right click on that and create a new timeline using the selected clip create and then double click that timeline. What we're going to do here first is select this clip and adjust our zoom up here on the right. So it fills the frame and we get rid of those black borders on the side. You could also adjust your timeline settings to your sequence settings if you want to work in the full resolution. But for the purpose of this tutorial, let's just go with this for now. So very flickery straight out of camera. We want to color grade these DNG files first. So with this clip selected, I'm gonna to go to this color tab here and in the camera raw panel, you're going to decode that using the clip mode. And this here now looks very much like the color grading uh, sliders in Lightroom that maybe you're used to. What you can also do is do that in here and then you get these sliders. Go to the first frame and make that your preferred look. I started a bit underexposed on my sequence, so I'm just going to quickly add some colors here, decrease that warmth a bit, and we're just gonna add some contrast as well. Maybe up the exposure a little bit as well. Scroll through and you'll see that your white balance goes too warm at the end, but we will fix that just like in the previous video by going back into your timeline and with Alt selected, drag that up. So you duplicate that clip, drag that top handle to where you want the white balance to change. And this slider here is the opacity slider. So this clip becomes visible from here and then it increases gradually until it's fully visible here. Now with this clip selected, you can go back into the image panel here and decrease your white balance to a strength that you prefer, something like that. Maybe up the exposure a little bit as well. 
and then you can drop the highlights a bit. So something like that. Now, this is still very flickery, of course. So you want to select these two clips, right click and create a new compound clip. This is like nesting pretty much in After Effects or in Adobe Premiere Pro. This compound clip, create that. And now with this compound clip selected, you're gonna go back to the color tab. And now you see these nodes here and we're going to grab the color stabilizer effect, drag that onto that node. And now we're going to adjust our settings here under the color stabilizer effect. So the region of analysis, as you can see, is that little square, but we're gonna go for the entire frame. Go to the first frame in your sequence and then click live region analysis. And here you're going to adjust the following settings. You keep this to balance and brightness, but you're going to deselect stabilize white balance because we're manually adjusting our white balance. Stabilize the brightness and set this to level and contrast. Now you can use the uh, curves and the histogram behind it here at the bottom to figure out which settings you want. You're gonna give this another mini grade, I guess, for this effect to apply. Um, use the histogram, like obviously that's too bright, just somewhere around there. And now if you go back to your timeline here and you scroll through, you will see that that flickering is almost entirely gone and it gradually ramps into that colder white balance clip. Now, if there is still more flickering, you can go to this node here, right click on it, add a new node, a serial node, which applies a second effect after that first effect has been applied. And here you can select the deflicker effect. And you set that to time lapse. And that's pretty much it. You can now play that, but my system, because I'm filming and editing at the same time, uh, won't allow me to do that. But now you go to the Deliver tab here, select a export preset. I always go Apple ProRes 42 HQ or higher. Select your output, add it to Render Queue and hit the Render button. And this will now export your clip. And this is what you end up with, which is so much better than what was straight out of camera, as you can see. Now, stuff you will notice, I messed up the focus a little bit on this shot. I was shooting on f2.8 and I think something is either wrong with my lens or my camera because some of the left bits of my footage is out of focus while the right is and then I refocused and then it switches sides. So that's not that's not great news. Uh, so maybe I need a new lens and so maybe you can help me with that new lens by uh, becoming a member of this channel if you like what I do. Memberships start from one dollar per month uh, which is pretty darn cheap. You can also support me by checking out my free ebooks and my paid time lapse courses, which has so much more content in there than this YouTube channel. What else would you like to see on this channel? I'm really enjoying making more DaVinci Resolve content. I'm getting more and more familiar with the software. It is incredibly powerful and it is very affordable as well, which is a crucial point for a lot of people. And it's not a subscription model, which is nice as well, of course. And that is all I have for you today. What else would you like to see me make videos about? I forgot to mention channel members get extra videos, members exclusive videos like the unboxing of my S5 II and a vlog here and there, which is pretty fun. But yeah, thanks for watching here until the end. Hope you're well and may the clouds forever be in your favor. Goodbye.